Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across me, as always, Alex. Hello. Hello, Alex. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Alex, what show do we do? The Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Yeah, we do. That's right. And that yeah. goes on every podcast service. Every week, every Friday, you can head over to every podcast service and YouTube and listen to us and our deep, swildering voices. You can go over to Patreon.com. If you like us, give us the support. Only for a dollar, get you an exclusive every month. We probably will record that. Maybe after this. I don't know. Um, and then $5 gives you everything early. As early as we can possibly make it, that helps us support us, that helps Alex eat, that helps me stare at Alex while he eats. Yep. Um, this is a thing we do. And I eat a lot. He does eat a lot. Um, I like he, he likes uh, ramen. Yes, I do. I like ramen a lot, too, yeah. though. That's not fair. Alex? Yes. I have a question. What's up? What you been playing? <sighs> I'm trying to think, because, <clears throat> like I said last week, I wanted to play more Plague's Tale. Right. Didn't get, didn't really go back to it. Did you play it at all? Not this week. No. no. Okay. Um, I've been a little busier this week, mm-hmm. but um, your life. Yeah, and then I've been just. Uh, You've been playing the game of life, you could say. Yeah. Not the board game. Yeah. The actual life that you um, live every week. Yes. I think I've just been wanting to chill. Mm-hmm. So I've been just watching more shows. <laughs> what show? Uh, the new one that I've been watching because I finished Dracula and um. I'm waiting on magicians to come back, which mm. is. I tried the magicians. As of today, it'll be back tomorrow. Mm, okay. And, then and we are recording on. Um, we're recording Tuesday? on the 14th, 14th. Tuesday, Tuesday, which yeah. also, I just remembered the two part, uh, the two more, the last two episodes of the crossover for Crisis is tonight. Oh. Yeah, so we'll be able to watch that. Okay. We'll be able to watch that either so tonight happy or tomorrow. When, I'm so happy when I forget things. Yeah, because right. Because then, then it just feels like I didn't wait it's, at all. Yeah. I've been um, caught up with Sekiro. Oh, I'm playing through yeah. that. Oh my god! Yeah, but Jesus. um, I've been watching. So I started Penny Dreadful. And what is that? So you, you said it was weird. It, it, and, if, and the name's weird, so I assume. It's so weird. it's weird because it, I it I think Penny Dreadful is a saying because they keep they keep. Sh- I think Penny Dreadful is like a series <laughs> of. <laughs> like not accidents, but like events. Oh, Penny Dreadful. <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking. Because like, there's like a scene in in the show. Some there was like a big thing that happened or something, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, the Penny Dreadful." <laughs> so I'm like, "Okay." I'm just thinking someone gets. I murdered. thought that was somebody's I'm name. Just at someone, first. Gets, someone gets murdered, and they're like, "Oh, Penny Dreadful." <laughs> it's just yeah. like a little say you say because it's like something bad happened. Oh, Penny Dreadful. But um, <laughs> I think it's uh, I'm looking it up because I honestly oh. haven't looked it up penny dreadful but the show is interesting so far at first it didn't explain to me what the hell was going on mm-hmm. but then after a while you just like it, it just catches you up a little bit so like there's you know <sighs> the mnemonic essences mm. there's i guess vampires but they haven't called them vampires <laughs> Uh, because it's, I don't know, it's that, that, that type of thing. You know how, like, you mm-hmm. know, Walking Dead does a thing where there are zombies, but they don't call them zombies? Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, it, that bears me to ask, because in Walking Dead, zombies don't exist. There's no, like, previous zombies. Yeah. There's, like, no lore or, like, yeah. movies or anything. Is that kind of in this thing, too? I, I guess. It's just because, um, like, like, there's, um, they, they seen these creatures, but they haven't called them zombies. They just, a lot, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Vampires. I'm back to Gen- Penny Dreadful. Mm-hmm. Um, and oh, uh, Penny Dreadful. And there was like there and the person there was like, oh, who are they drained of blood? And they were like, um, they were like, yeah, yes. I was like, oh, this is the creature that we've been looking for, but they're just calling it a creature still. So I'm like, all right. And then, then more characters come up. Uh, Frankenstein is part of the show, like the Doctor Frankenstein, mm-hmm. and they have his own like um story arc about him and then his creations. There's a uh, so okay. Have you seen the movie League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? I haven't seen it. I watched, and my girlfriend good. hates me for saying this. Oh god! And she's probably listening and gonna be it's like, a good "I movie. do hate that." It's a good I, movie. I watched it through Nostalgia Critic. Oh yeah, so he reviewed yeah. it, and I'm like, I basically watched a movie, and she's always like, "No, you didn't," because he just does the dumb movies, you know, mm-hmm. and he makes fun of something. Um, and I've watched it that way, and basically understand the gist mm-hmm. of it. It's one of those things that sounds good on paper, but then when it was actually a movie, it didn't seem like it turned out correctly. But mm. it looked it, it looked like a fun movie. Yeah. Um, 
But the the sh- I, I'm interested. I'm in- I'm ex- I'm I'm liking this show mm-hmm. so far. Mm-hmm. At the beginning, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because I just watched Dracula, so I've been in that mood of uh, like vampires and, and like old like style. And then you booted up Order thing. 1886. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that was a good. Mo- that was, that a, good was game. a good game. Yeah, it was. It was one of those games where it's not great, but yeah. if you know if they made another game, that would be mm. great. So I found the they really term. liked capes in that. It says the term typically referred to a story published in weekly parts, each costing one penny. The subject of the matter, these stories were typically sensational, focusing on the exploits of detectives, criminals, supernatural entities. So now I'm thinking like, hey, let me get a penny dreadful. How much is that for a penny? Yeah, Penny Dreadful features characters such as Sweeney Todd, uh, Dick Durpin, and Varney the Vampire. Guardians described as Penny Dreadfuls as... That was a lot of cool names, but then you get Dick Durpin. Yeah. Like, what? Dick Durpin? Did you just... like Dick l- l- Turpin. Did you like like try yeah. to like, run out of names? Frankenstein's yeah. taken. Vampires are taken. Dracula's taken. What do I go for? Oh, Dick Durpin. Oh, let's go with that one. Yeah, so it's pretty much stories What's Dick Durpin that do? you get for a penny. Does Dick Durpin do anything? Look up uh, Dick Durpin. I want to know okay. what, what his life Let's is, see. what he does. Oh, and uh, the character uh, Dorian Gray is in it, too. I'm picturing a ferret. Like some sort of g- weird man what did ferret I say? thing. Dick Turpin? Dick Turpin. 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 Durpin. Turpin. Flurp. As Flarp was an interesting movie. I like how this is how we started the show. You remember Flarp? <laughs> Flarp. Flarp was a weird movie. Can, can you sit search? Thank you. God bless Ron Williams. Miss him. Miss him every day. Oh, the, yep. Come on now. Can you load? My who? Dick Durbin. That's my smoke I'm just going to keep saying Dick yeah. Durbin. How about you continue while I look this up? Yeah, how about this? Alex, if you don't remember, we do a gaming podcast mm-hmm. where we talk about nonsense for the first five minutes, and then we get back to what we actually do, yeah, which well, is the gaming podcast. Yeah, well, speaking well, of we, games, what were you playing? Oh, thank you for asking, yeah. Alex. Sekiro, like I said in the opening. Uh, it's very good. Very hard. Mm-hmm. It's very hard, but it's fun. Okay. And I use that term specifically because I do think it is fun. It's just, mm-hmm. whew. and it did scratch the Dark Soul itch finally. Yeah. Where where I I, I just played it because that beginning part, if you're not down to learn the game, you're just not going to enjoy it because you're just going to keep dying. I like and the, the game, story, but I'm just the like, game <sighs> demands you to play it the way it, uh, it wants you to play. It demands it. You, if you do it any man. other way. And I remember the pairing being worse than it is now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there are patches or if it was just me at the time, okay. but I do feel like when I parry now, it's pretty. I'm I'm pretty on it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever done the thing where you have a trouble with a boss? Because if you guys don't know, oh, this is yes. kind of spoilers. It's not really spoilers, but I I just fought Owl for the second time. That's all I'll say. Yeah. And um, you ever look up a video like oh, I need I need what's the strategy for this boss? Let me look it up. And yeah. you watch the guide. Just doesn't help at all yeah. because. The, the guy that I watched was just this behemoth of a man. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, all you got to do is, you know, do this, do this. So I'm yeah. going to activate this art. And then he just doesn't get hit the entire time. Yeah. He just the game's been out for a while, so I think like we're everything. pretty okay. It was good, though. It yeah. was fun. I had a good time. I'm not done yet. I think I'm on the last level. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go get the Dragon Tears. Super weird game. I don't know why they insist on making games... With these super weird tones and like not really defining anything, mm-hmm. but maybe it's my fault because I don't read all the lore thingies. But I do read what comes up on the, on the screen. But I feel like I'm just not following the major story. I know I'm supposed to end immortality and things like that, but it's super gray. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. But I'm having fun. Gameplay's yeah. great. Yeah. Um. Uh, I recommend it if you like Dark Souls or if you want a challenge. Yeah. Um, Alex. Um. Go ahead. Dick, oh, did you get Dick, Dick Turpin? Turpin? As uh, his name is Richard Turpin, was of course. A, was an Englishman highwayman who exploits were romanti- romanticized following his execution in New York for oh, horse theft. Jesus, this is a real man. Then. Yeah, horse theft. <laughs> Turpin may have followed his father's trade as a butcher early in his life, but by the early 1730s, he had joined a gang of deer thieves and later became a poacher, burglar, horse thief, and killer. All right. God, that sounds like a bunch of nonsense. Deer theft, yep. horse theft. You're just stealing animals at that yeah, point. Is it, so. Did he work at a zoo? I Where mean, did this man work? I mean, I guess they just... He was a highwayman, so he I just mean, stayed was, on the highway it, it, and killed people. Probably. It was it's 1730, so that's what? The 18th century? 
Mm, yes, technically, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So I mean, I mean, I guess there was a lot of woods. Well, I mean, so they, oh, they of course, in woods. So. Oh yeah, I know why they stole it. It's just okay. weird well, like, to hear deer. Like, theft you know why? But like, why theft. would you? It's just weird. It's yeah, funny. I gotcha. uh, enough about Dick Durbin. Yeah, no, let's, another day. Enough about Dick Durbin. Let's get back to the news where we have Final Fantasy VII Avengers getting delayed, Sony skipping E3, and Spider Man is for somewhat what uh, in Morbius. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But, but first. Alex, mm. PlayStation, leaving E3 for the second time <sighs> in a row. I've been racking my brain. If you follow me on Twitter, you know mm-hmm. I have. Um, why? How? And that's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? What? What do you think? What? After hearing the news, su- were you surprised? Let's start at the beginning. Um, I texted it to you if you remember. A little, a little bit of a yes, mm-hmm. but then I was like, and after I thought about, it, I'm like, well, I guess mm-hmm. they they're just going away from. I, um, I was a little disappointed because I kind of wanted them to be mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. but I guess now uh, apparently instead of that, they're going to be in a lot more shows, and then I, I'm just hoping well at least we'll get something from them like PSX or like the reveal. Uh, we're supposed to be getting something in February, possibly or in the future months. Mm-hmm. But so, so I woke up. Yeah, you know, getting up. Yeah, let me make back make breakfast. Eat. Mm. Let's let's see what's on Twitter while I'm watching whatever garbage show I'm watching. Mm. Or you, you, you did the you, you did the you the you wake up in the first five seconds you pick up your phone and look I, at Twitter. I, so I did, but I was tired. I was still oh, waking yeah? up, so I looked at it, but I was like, let me like get my bearings. Yeah, and then I'll look at oh, Twitter. Okay. So I ate, looked mm. at Twitter. <clears throat> boom! Sony has said they're not attending E3. That's crazy. And first thoughts was, why am I shocked? Because I was kind of shocked. Yeah. Because I was expecting a, we're going to show off our, you know, our, a new system. We're going to show off the launches. We're going to show off our um, hardware. We're going to show off our yeah. specs, you know, yeah, our, yeah, our yeah. Terra floppies, our, all of our flops. We're going to show our flops. We're yep. going to flop on your eyes. We're going to flop on your face. Yeah. We're going to flop all of you. And hearing the news that they're not attending just took me aback for a second, like, I wonder why. Ooh, yeah. Like, why would do you? Why do you not attend? And 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 I kind of wrote this out in a series of tweets on my Twitter. If you want to go see my like grand, very granular thoughts, step by step. But mm. essentially, I came to a part where you can essentially see in multiple parts. One, um, it's not cheap to do these things, so you assume that they looked at just how much this costs. And all of that, and just go. Mm, mm. We're just not gonna do it. We're just not. We're just not gonna. Uh, we're not gonna go again. Yeah. It's too much money, and we can probably do it ourselves for much cheaper. And we can control the message a lot easier than putting someone out on the stage and talking and showing trailers off. Yep. Another part of me was like, well, they have their own E3 that they can do at any point called PlayStation Experience, which yep. I don't even know if they're still doing that anymore. Maybe. I, maybe they will. I, I don't hope. Know. We get um, something. We have rumors in February that there's going to be a, an actual reveal event mm-hmm. where they show off everything. I'm curious if that's true, and if that's true, like what? Like, do you want to show PS5 stuff when you still have games coming out for PS4? Maybe they don't care. We still have Ghost of Tsushima in June, but like, yeah. you would have to assume they're showing it before that. We also have Last of Us coming in a few months, yeah. which crazy that didn't get delayed, and we got all the other games delayed. Well, it did. It, it, it technically it did get. I played. guess good point. It technically yeah. did get delayed. Because we were supposed to get it in March, and now we're getting it in May. May, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's I bet true. You, I bet you Ghost is going to get re- um, delayed. delayed. Really? You yeah. th- instead, what, so instead what? of June, I think it's going to be a September. Because we don't know it's June. I think it's just summer, right? We or just summer, know it's yeah. Summer. If so, it's June or July, I think we're. I think we won't get it till um, August or September. August or September. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they'll do August yeah. and be like, it's technically summer. I'm like, barely. All right. Not, yeah, barely. Not, it's fall. <laughs> Beginning of a fall. Okay, relax. Yeah. That's technically what? Q2, Q3? That's Q3? Th- three. Three. Yeah. Q2. Er, three. It's three, Q3. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Q2 is the... It's the like the one. beginning yeah, yeah. of Q3, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what what are your thoughts? What, why? Do you, why? Because I was thinking of... Oh, I'm Sony. Yeah. Why do I make this move? I make... Because... Again, it's expensive, and they actually uh, yeah. took a few shots at ESA. You give your thoughts. I'll give you their full quote. Um, okay. If you can just give, you give your thoughts, and I'll give. Um, I f- I just feel like like um that I mean it is, it does it. I mean they're doing so much with 
games and stuff that stuff like that. I feel like they're just like we sh- uh, like the pe- like it's, it's it costs a lot, like you said. Yeah, of course. Um, I feel like instead of that, they'll do. And I'm the sure they're getting shows discounts. I'm not saying they're paying no, tens of millions of oh, dollars, God, no, but no, they yeah. are for sure dropping at least ten mil close to that. You know, renting yeah. out stadium. Yeah, I feel like up. I feel like that they, they think that it's not needed anymore. Like my, I think after this, you no, know, seeing that two years in a row, I don't think they'll be back at EA or E three. E three, yeah. So I, I feel like from I, th- I feel like won't we won't see them at E three anymore. So I feel like last year, super shocking. Didn't yeah. see it coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This year, it was like I was still kind of still kind of. Uh, if next they year, don't come back next year, I think it. for sure they're never no. coming back. I think yeah. there is still a small chance. But yeah. it is a chance because like, they do like, want to build up hype. For they'll be like, their, oh, we're finally back. Yeah, and here's God of War, and, and here's uh, yeah, unannounced yeah. X game, you know, and, and just yeah. all this stuff. I don't, think, ooh, I don't think we'll see them next year either. I don't either because, yeah. again, I, I don't think they I don't think they like E3. Because, <laughs> I don't uh, know. Let me, let me find this quote. I mean, to be honest, their last E3. Mm, did you not like it? It was, it was fine. I enjoyed some of the stuff i just didn't see the point of changing people when they revealed last of us part two when they showed you know though they had to change everybody to a whole different room just for the rest of the part of the trailer yeah so it, like, it, uh, it looks why it looks just interesting just keep them in one studio and you'll be good it did look weird because they wanted to add to the ambiance and i was like i'm just is that necessary then to keep them in that same room. i did like that guy with the flute though that guy oh, was yeah, cool yeah. No, he, no yeah he was cool yeah, i'm just saying awesome. like if they're gonna do everything cool and you know make the room look like you're in the game then stay in that room mm-hmm. or put chairs in it because i think everybody was standing up or something mm-hmm. but what was i like i just see like i'm like oh okay now i gotta walk 10 minutes to watch the rest of it it's kind of like like if I was the person there at E3, I'm like, eh, why? Mm-hmm. So like, like for example, the E3 that was with God of War, mm-hmm. awesome, awesome. Like that one was huge, that one was like great. Huge stadium. Like they didn't have to do much. Orchestra. They just had the orchestra, and like, they didn't have to change the room. They, I mean, it was so good. Like they could just done that, mm-hmm. but I feel I like they're, they're just. They, I don't feel like they're like ah, we don't need to do that much anymore. I w- I wonder why they opt out of that because I feel like the best experience is the orchestra yeah. with the trailer mm. and i'm and i'm j- again comes back to money i assume that costs a lot of money because you got to pay every single yeah. person that's in that orchestra and, yeah. and all that so maybe that's it um let's let's go with this full uh this is kind of a snippet of the quote um and i think this gives you the the full pretext of what i'm talking about um quote after the uh, after thorough evaluation sie sony interactive entertainment has decided not to participate in e3 2020 we have great respect for the esa as an organization but we do not feel the vision of e3 2020 is the right venue for what we are focused this year the yeah. company said in a statement emailed to business insider which got the scoop on this yeah um, um, actually, now that mm. quote, I feel like, yep. is where we're at. They don't agree with where E three is going. They don't. They they say they like ESA fine. I'm sure they don't really care. They they mm-hmm. they they, they don't agree with this one way streak of E three is this huge event where yep. publishers and and developers go and talk and make shop and you know what are you doing oh i'm not really doing okay well let's talk about this game or maybe that people go and recruit people and Mm -hmm. things like that and and i'm curious on what playstation on what aspect playstation doesn't like about it because they did uh, start the consumer thing where like we're getting like all hyped and we're gonna have people pay to come now yeah does playstation want this more consumer aspect or do they want a kind of thing and i feel like they say this in the full tweet i'll go to uh, business insider in a second but i feel like we get a good tweet um a good kind of sentence from jason Shry here mm-hmm. talking on e3 in a whole we'll go over that when we actually talk about e3 mm-hmm. uh in full but i was i'm gonna stick with playstation for right now but um i feel like we're getting i feel like we're getting we're seeing e3 e3 slowly wither away to whatever no, yeah. it's slowly it's becoming and i can't yeah. tell what it is i think i can't yeah. tell if it's for the industry or for consumers or is it is or they want it to be both or do they want some sort of altering mismatch i don't know so uh, i, 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 I can know. see what they mean by this by we don't know what their vision is we're not we're just not going to come well 
wasn't E three originally for like for those people only that were invited or something yeah, like that? Yeah. So essentially you um if you didn't know this, so uh I wanna say they started in the nineties okay. as like a really small expo and yeah. it slowly grew through this giant event that we have. Yeah. And w- what happened is you essentially email and I'm sure they invited specific people, but mm. you basically tell them, Hey, I'm in the industry, I wanna come. Yeah. And I heard back in the day it wasn't really that hard to get an invite mm. or a pass. You just had to show proof of whatever proof, you're doing. Yeah. You could be, you can have a blog and you can go. I don't know how it is now. I have no idea. But I did hear back in the day, it was pretty easy to get in. It yep. wasn't very hard. You can find your way through if you had the money and time. Um, and I'm curious if if that that's changed because again they say that you know it's kind of this mix and mash. Um, what was I gonna say? Is it open to the public now? It is open to the public. They did that for the first time two years ago. Okay. Where I think a thousand people could buy a, uh, okay. a ticket, and they upped it last year. Okay. And this year, I don't know if they're upping it again, but you can still buy tickets. You can you can buy as a as a person a mm. ticket to go and experience whatever you want to experience. I probably this is probably a, a a long shot, but do you think that is what affecting Sony? Because they, in what it, aspect? It, it, open to the public. Do you think they don't want public uh, people yeah. to be there? That's what I was kind of like. I'm I'm curious on which because it seems like when they started opening to the public, that's when they're like, we're not gonna be there. That's true. So um, that's why I was like, I mean, it's a long shot, but I'm like, I mean, well, because I wouldn't see a. It doesn't. It wouldn't make sense. I'm like, well, why wouldn't you want public people to see your stuff? But maybe they want to keep it so hush hush of stuff. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. That that's a good point. And that I mean, that does almost perfectly align with the consumer slowly coming in. So mm. maybe that is it. Um, I found the full statement, and I, and I'll read the full statement. We can kind of dissect it from there. After thorough evaluation, we read this part. Yeah, we do not feel the vision is the right venue. Focus. It. We will build upon our global event strategy in 2020 by participating in hundreds of consumer events across the globe. Our focus is on making sure fans feel part of the PlayStation family and have access to play their favorite content. We have a fantastic line of line up of titles coming to PlayStation 4 and with the upcoming launch of PlayStation 5, we are truly looking forward to a year of celebration with our fans. Interesting. Huh. Hundreds, Hundreds of consumer events. Yeah. I remember they did that bus thing. Do you remember that thing? The what? The bus. Mm, what do you mean? They, didn't remember. they do that bus that one time where they drove around and like stopped at places and you could play PS4 games? I feel like I remember. I just it's been a while. Yeah, I think I think they did some sort of bus thing. That's why I think hundreds. Hundreds is like How's their hundreds? Are, yeah. Or they're doing the thing where, like, you know, we can go into a GameStop and, like, play a PS4. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe they'll do that. They'll give out PS5s to play. Mm, maybe. Not before. I'm saying, like, yeah. maybe, like, a launch or something. No, yeah. Maybe okay, that, yeah, It's just yeah. hundreds Somewhere of consumer there, events. Yeah. That's a lot of events. So what are they? I wonder what they're ma- they mean by that. Or, yeah. or is it just jargon of marketing things? Yeah. Um, so uh, curious, curious, curious. Because they said consumer events. Yeah. So I wonder if Sony doesn't, like... That ES3 isn't consumer enough. The I don't E3 know. is not consumer enough. Yeah, that maybe they maybe it's hmm. still techy or something. I, I don't know. Weird. Yeah, Curious I on what know. their actual reasoning is because they'll, they'll never tell us, so we can only yeah. speculate, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, it's crazy. Just, yeah, it's just weird. Weird, crazy. I just hope we get a PSX this year or something. Would you go? I, w- I mean, I wish. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take your newborn with you? Oh no, <laughs> she'd love it. Oh, yeah, right. She'd love it. She. I uh, go to PSX. You, you give we're her a little, little Xbox dual shirt. shock. A little dual shock. Oh yeah, we can be like inv- we're, we'll be like spies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're here to, uh, to know what the enemy is doing. <laughs> 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 we're on. We're here on behalf of Microsoft. Um. So this is EA's statement okay. to them leaving. All right. Quote: E3 is a signature event celebrating the video game industry and showcasing the people, brands, and innovations redefining entertainment loved by billions of people around the world. E3 2020 will be an exciting high energy show featuring new experience partners, uh, exhibitor spaces, activations, and programming. That was a lot of weird stuff at the end there. Yeah. That and cool. that will entertain new and veteran attendees alike. Exhibitors uh, interest in our new uh, activations. Why do they keep saying activations is gaining the attention of brands that view E3 as a key opportunity to connect with video game fans worldwide. End quote. 
Oh, and I forgot a, a piece. And we will dox everyone who comes. And so, what? And, and <laughs> it's a joke because they doxed everyone last oh, time. Oh, yeah. So they're yeah, just going to yeah. dox everyone. I was like, you to lost me there fair, for a second. I was to like, make what? it fair, everyone who comes, everyone's docked at once. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, what do you think? E three standpoint, right? Are you are you still in a standpoint of being excited for E three? Oh no, I'm. I, I think I'm always gonna be excited for E three, just because mm-hmm. it's like, it E three is my uh, Super Bowl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like you Super know, Bowl of games. Yeah. It so it's like no matter how many times it's gonna be out, how many times. I mean, I'm always gonna be excited for it, no matter what. Like with Matt, oh, Madden, my God, um, Super Bowl. No matter what team is like. Playing. Like that, that that's there mm-hmm. that at uh, at the Super Bowl. I'm gonna watch yeah, it just because I mean it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's hyped. Mm-hmm. So no matter what's at E3, I'm gonna be excited for. It anyways, just because mm-hmm. it's just the the environment and just the the initial hype of everything. Because everybody goes all out at E3, so and it's just so cool. Yeah, I, I agree with what you said. I remember growing up with E3 and, and it's being the event that you'd wait for every year. Yeah. And when it came around, it was just a week of games. Yeah. Starting with conferences, ending with full days on floor with every game, oh, yeah. showcasing their game and just being super excited for it. Yeah. So I, I, I do miss how hype it was because I do remember last year mm. not having Sony. It does yeah. it does kind of taper because you get, yeah. you get a cool Microsoft and then you get Ubisoft, which is like, uh, and then you yeah. get Square, and, and then and then uh, Bethesda. And, yeah, uh, it, like you get these kind of okay ones, and yeah. then you get the awesome one, and then okay, and then, and then yeah, like, eh, we don't get two awesome ones. Instead, we just get yeah, one. we just get yeah one. And, uh, let me pitch you an idea. Stadia comes out of nowhere. Oof. Look, we're doing E three. We get it. Did, we're we're with you guys. I'm wondering. I'm, I'm no. wondering if no, yeah, I don't even think <laughs> that would prove. Um, with Stadia not even bringing up E3, it proves that they just they don't really get it, in my <laughs> opinion. Yeah. Um, because Nintendo comes, they have fun. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we do get, and I did not mention Nintendo. I do mean Nintendo. We just don't get a cool presentation. We just get like a direct, which is and that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. still cool because you get cool. I games. mean, like last year, Xbox. Uh, was it Keanu Reeves that came? Yeah. Uh, on stage. Yeah, you do get moments like that with the just like he's just like whoa. it's like yeah. whoa, we have Keanu Reeves. And he's like, yeah. why? This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like sometimes, like with the God of War, they had the the orchestra. Yeah. And then years before, the sta- um, like yeah. Forza gets their the car on mm-hmm. the stage. I mean. Like, it's just cool, cool stuff. Yeah, you just can't get that with like a direct or a state of play, yeah. whatever they plan on doing. So, with this knowledge, mm. Alex, mm. Z three still around? Yeah, yeah. You said that. You said that very, very not confidently. Do for you, at least the next five years, I can for sure mm-hmm. they'll be there. I, th- I after I that, I mean, once everything starts becoming more digital than everything, I'm like, I'm wondering like how more like. I'm just hoping that nobody else bails out. <sighs> if if Microsoft bails out, I don't think I don't think Microsoft bad. would. I, I don't, think, I don't so. think that I'm saying, but like let's say if only N- because if Nintendo or any other slower one, uh, smaller ones, and because I feel like it's gonna be a trail. It'll be like, oh, if they if they left, I mean, maybe we should do our own thing. I mean, because EA bail wasn't there last year. Yeah, they had that play thing, which yeah. isn't really. No, that wasn't really a thing. It's not really. Anything. So I mean, like at this point, it's like, is it Microsoft the only game, the only thing gonna be there? And I don't want them to leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they leave, it's straight yeah, up. Over, it's which straight. I don't think so because they. Ha- it looks like they generally. It, it looks just, like Phil literally has fun doing it. So. No, yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know if that's true, and I'm just reading into stuff. But it looks like they. Oh no, he has looks a good like, time. Yeah, he's yeah. Everyone's having a good time having I don't, Xbox I don't, parties yeah, and no. things like that. So I don't know what they're planning, but with the information we know now. Mm-hmm. You're still excited. Yo, yeah. Okay. Completely, yeah, completely. I'm always. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I don't think I'm ever not going to be excited. Mm-hmm. At, least, at least. As long as Xbox yeah. sticks sticks with us. Yeah. Uh, well, as long as there's something good. Like, you know. And we did get, uh, just like last time, Phil, Larry, all of them coming out and being like, oh, yeah. we're still coming. Yeah. So keep, stay excited. We got the new system. And, um,. I, and it does it does seem like this time people weren't as surprised too. So I do feel like everyone kind of saw this coming. Yeah. Um. I wonder if we'll. Uh, what do you think about P- where where we get reveal events then? Do you believe this February thing? Do we get something maybe in March or May? Like or or do we wait all the way till pre E three? I don't. I don't. Uh, mm. Yeah. See, because because I do think it's announced before. June. I feel like. For sure. We'll get something in February, and if not, latest is March. We'll we'll get a review. Oh, of so something. we're for sure getting it in the next two months. I feel like it. I feel like mm-hmm. it. Just so we get it because I mean, they haven't done anything 
since that state of play and then even before that. Yeah, December. Just all right. they've done all last year was state of plays. Was what, what, three of them? Four. Four? And each one was That's 20 minutes? That's not enough, mm-hmm. at least in my opinion. I mean. Have they had a hype state of play yet? Eh? I can't think of one. The, the only one th- was cool. I mean, it was, and the yeah. only reason it wasn't cool was because it's just that like, was the only thing that was cool. That's we already knew the about thing. Resident Evil. They've so had two like state of plays cool. that there's only one thing that I'm hyped for. Like the yeah. Last of Us and then the Ghost of Tsushima. And like they don't have like everything else is just like meh. Because I'm like, I'm no, I know they're going to show the best thing for last. So this I can skip like 18 minutes of this and just mm-hmm. the last mm-hmm. last two minutes. I can be like, all right, now this is what I'm waiting for. Mm. They need to make it to where it's hype the whole time. Because then that would give me that E3 feel or everybody would get excited. Yeah, I think they're still trying to nail down what Nintendo took uh, forever to yeah. nail down. Because I remember directs being just oh, yeah. terrible. Just and, terrible, especially. And I mean, with the, sometimes they still, yeah. They still, yeah, no, sometimes, yeah, still, sometimes because sometimes they're geared to a very specific audience oh, yeah, that yeah, you just course. don't care about. Because yeah. I'm sure we're gonna get an Animal Crossing direct soon. Oh yeah. And, uh, pff, you tell me something. I've, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna see these animals talking to me and jibber jabberish, and I'm just not gonna understand what's going on. Yep. And my girlfriend's gonna be convulsing on the ground, freaking yeah, out. The first time I saw that, I'm like, what the heck is this? Yeah, what is going on? Yeah, I'm I'm going to try Animal Crossing, so I'm curious if yeah. I like it or not. I don't um, know. But yeah, uh, moving on from E3, uh, did you get everything out, Alex? Any lasting uh, comments you want to leave with the audience with mm. what you think E3 is? Because I will miss, I do miss E3. Yes. Because I do feel like my E3 is already gone. And it's probably been gone for at least a year. Mm. Um, because it doesn't, it just doesn't seem like it's as hype. It yep. doesn't seem like we're getting that, I don't get that same child not as, like Yeah, wonder. not as before, no. But I mean, I feel like I'm always going to be ex- at least excited for that mm-hmm. time because I'm like, oh, it's E3 time at least because, like, you know, there's so many com- cause, uh, there's so many conferences. And even just that, I mean, just seeing people that go there and the, all those um, the hands-on gameplays and stuff, and you know, you'll, you'll go online and you're like, oh, they saw that or whatever, and you get to see kind of gameplays and stuff like what they did with the uh, xCloud. And I was like, "Oh, yeah. I hope we get to see. I hope we get to try that." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah I mean, I've played. I tried XCloud. How cool is XCloud? I enjoy it. So cool. I enjoy what it. Do you think I just because you have the beta. Yeah. Have you been messing around in the recent few? Uh, I played it about two weeks ago. Okay. I play. I play because they added like over fifty games. They added a bunch of more games instead of it was just like the main five, like Sea of Thieves and things like that. And I think it was Ace Combat. Oh, uh, they added a uh, a bunch. So it's I think it's a bunch of a lot of Game Pass games, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's fun. I just, uh, I hope that uh, the connection or the, I guess the latency the lag, thing, yeah. yeah, will get better. Other than that, I mean, I I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I'm, I'm excited yeah. for it to come to Apple because uh, the reason, you know, of course, you have it is it's only on Android. Oh, right yeah. And, and Apple is coming soon. They didn't give us a date out. Yeah. Know. And see, I'm playing it on my Google Pixel 2 XL. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if like if I get a better phone, if it would run better on the Android. I just don't know how well it, my Google is supposed yeah, to be playing. I, I, yeah, it. I don't know what the problem is because you assume it's running off a server. So what yeah. you assume is the problem is the internet. You assume, uh, yeah, I don't know. But and see, I mean, I have yeah, I have. Surprise. I mean, I should have really good. I have good internet, and then sometimes it's still a little. Uh, and I mean, so I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see something, um, a, like a change on 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 the better side, Alex. Yes. It is officially mm. um, delay season. Yes, Final Fantasy Seven delayed, not as terribly as the next team we're going to talk about, but Final Fantasy delayed to April. This is over on GameSpot by Steve Watts. Um, he brings the power. Get it? Because Watts. The Final Fantasy Seven remake for PlayStation 4 has been delayed God. from its March 3rd release date. A note from the producer Yoshinori Akatsi. Uh, Kitsa? Kitsi? Mm, I don't know. Says the uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII's new release date has been set for April 10th to give the team a little extra time for finishing touches. And this basically goes on to, to debut like, hey, this is our letter. We know you have to wait, but we need to iron out the game a little bit more. Mm. Not too bad. Only a month. Does this set you back any? Do you care? Um, it does free up March a lot more. It does. Um, I, with Final Fantasy VII, I mean, I was kind of, I was excited because I've never, I've I've, I've started the game. I've never played f- a lot of the game. I've only ever put like what maybe two hours in the game, and that, I, and that was it. Cause just because um, five, I think. For I me. mean, we're in this generation now, so I'm like, I just can't play PS2 games like that anymore. And yeah. I, at least that one, mm-hmm. <laughs> Polygon uh, Mania. 
Yeah, it's just um, it's hard to feel for the characters when they look like shapes taped together. Yes, and I don't say that as a I do say that oh, as no, a I, joke, but I do mean that seriously. Yeah. I mean it like it is hard to. Yeah, like uh, co- f- compared to what we have now. Yeah, like if so, if, probably just so if I would have played if I would have tried playing it when it came out, oh, I'm sure I would have loved it, played awesome. But it, now, I just I just can't see myself doing it. Mm-hmm. So I've, I I want to wait, and I'm excited. And I, I mean, I just hope that it um, carries out what it w- wants and needs to be. What's upsetting is this moves it closer to cyberpunk. Yeah. Which I, I, I don't like. I don't like one bit because that gives us like it's like a week to beat Final Fantasy VII and then oh, we're right into cyberpunk. That's not happening. Um, which, good At Lord. least not for me. Unless <laughs> <laughs> not for you. No. Not for you. You'll have a baby, right? Around the time, uh, are, not exactly. Are we getting, getting ready, getting ready, yeah. getting ready. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I'm probably still gonna be. <laughs> I'll play it a little bit, and I'm like, all right, gotta go to work. And when I get back, I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm too, too lazy to pick it up. So I'm just like, I'll watch another show. <laughs> now again, March third to March, uh, April tenth. Not yeah. big, right? No, no, no. It's just about Avengers. A month. Mm-hmm. Game coming out in, um, what, what was, was it? May. Was well, that the original date? I believe it was May. May. Okay. Moving to September 4th. Yikes. This one I don't so, mind. So, just cause if we, it's uh, that yeah. big of a jump, yeah, 100% push it back. Jesus, because if you need three more months to work yeah. on a game... That's that's my thing. Must have been rough. Honestly, I feel like when they showed us the game, I feel like that release date was a little too soon. Because that was the first time we ever heard about the game. That's true. So, I feel like, I mean... I, and it's a super weird reveal event. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Where they're like, hey, hey, we're making an Avengers game. It's really cool. Um, sorry, not the reveal event. It was with them talking about the game. Yeah, there's no like, paid uh, or uh, there's like not pa- like paid cosmetics. Or they said something yeah, yeah, weird like that. Up. Like it's oh, it's only paid cosmetics. You're like you haven't showed us the game yet. Yeah. you're already talking about cosmetics. Relax. Yeah. Um, like so I mean, like weird. I mean, uh, honestly, if they would have just given me. Uh, the gameplay, like what they showed and stuff like that, and not a release date or a release window, I would have been, f- or a release, just a release. I mean, like let's say like holiday, or twenty twenty, because I don't remember what they exactly did. Uh, was it? Did they give it a month? Was early twenty twenty, I believe. Oh, did they give over window? And then last time we got okay. the newest E three thing, it was it was set to May fifteenth or whatever it was. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just I've, we've only seen that game once uh, so far, so I feel like just and I mean, it just even, give it time really gameplay it was like script and animations yeah. yeah um where it looks like gameplay but you're like mm, yeah that, like at least give us like an, at least give us another or give us another trailer with gameplay to be like all right like you know how usually they they used to because they don't do this anymore really have noticed the guy will come up on the stage with the controller and he's like this is some gameplay this is God, we're about to show you some gameplay yeah. and he it's just stand, he just sits there and play and then it just sits and then the hud changes and it's it's gameplay what happened to that? Because <laughs> games aren't made. It's <laughs> like made they don't yet. do this anymore. And they, because that's... because that shows confidence, um, and your game won't break when you're playing it. And I mean, you like can't, you just can't say that about a lot of things. It's just some don't have builds ready. Yeah, because you'll see sometimes at E3s where they'll have behind closed doors demos, and yeah. they have four. Uh, people demos where you can just kind of play it and behind the closed doors generally means that they're showing you the game and mm-hmm. not actually letting you play it because it's not ready yet no because they know you're going to move around something and break something now hear me out since we they don't do this would you want everybody to skip or like e3 skip a year and then the next year we all get full gameplay demos and then they're, and then they'll give us the release dates and stuff like that mm-hmm. so like they're like this is what we have and, okay, uh, so I'm. I think uh, rather than E3, just developers in general, yeah, wait until they can show a demo off. Yeah, I feel like I get where you're coming from, um, but I just I, I I think the way they have to make these demos is just hard. Yeah, because they have to make like a whole part yeah, of the game, part of the game separately. That from technically, from... isn't going to be in the main game. Sometimes it sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it isn't. Um, I, the reminds me of the God of War demo. Where but did they were on controllers? I think they had no. Yeah, they were. They uh, they I don't think they showed it. it. They didn't show a person with the controller because when they showed the or- they showed the orchestra and then they panned into the into the screen and but it was gameplay. Yeah, it panned it to the cutscene and then it fought one point I gameplay playing at the studio like and they recorded it yeah, rather yeah. than him yeah. playing on there. But still though, but that, that was, was cool. it was very different. 
Mm-hmm. And, from what and, they had. Just, and I do see what you mean. We are slowly getting away from like gameplay stuff. It just feels like it, it was, seems like we're getting allowed. Just hey, this is the trailer. What the game is? Yeah, like I mean, I want to see the gameplay and the person playing it because I feel like it excites me more. I Be mean, like, oh man, he has a hands on. Heck yeah, dude, for sure. Because I'm, I am a little fatigued on. This is our cinematic trailer of what the game is, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I get it. You're just showing me a movie that isn't real, so yeah. stop showing it to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just get like frustrated where like, no, yeah, I yeah. can't get excited for this stuff anymore because that's not what the game is. Yeah, I forgot. Similar to the um, Watch Dogs situation that we got. Yeah, remember that? Where the original Watch Dogs, if you yeah. look at the reveal trailer, mm-hmm. that is not what Watch Dogs looks like. Oh, God, <laughs> the no. Game, they ported, it was ported not, not looking like that at all. No, no, no. And um, I just, I don't want situations like that. Yeah. I just got. I just want the the moment again. I forgot which E three was. I can't remember which Call of Duty it was. I think it was either, um, God, what was it? It's, it was one of the Black Opses, like Black Ops two or Modern Warfare three. I can't remember. But the guy was on stage and he he just it just shows like him like like going I guess coming out or like out of a, like he's about to go through a door. There was a bunch of debris, and it just like pans like the screen changes and you know how they it brings up the hud and then he just starts playing and i'm like oh shit this is the game i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah you know there's like a cut scene and it's kind of and it's kind of tricky because like, you you're just assuming you're watching something and yeah it just goes smoothly into gameplay yeah and then Which we got a war was really good at that yeah oh yeah yeah and then we, we realized that we're like oh this is gameplay they're showing gameplay heck yeah mm-hmm. like it's just excitement that, that like, was that i do feel that yeah, I, yeah. and i do miss like because like, I, miss I feel that. like it's it's really hard to get a good game to yeah. To do that and it be close enough to be able to do something like that. Yeah. Because you get this, like, you have this really cool segment, and I do remember that Call of Duty, and I think it was. I think Black it was called. Black Ops 3? Is it, was it Not 3? three? Sorry, 2? No, was I, it 2? I can't I, remember what it is. I, I just remember it was a sh- some shooter game, and I uh, thought it was Call of Duty. Might have been so. Black Ops 4, actually. Maybe. I don't know. No, it had to have been Black Ops 3. Yeah. yeah. No, it was Advanced Warfare. I'm picturing mm. the one where they, um, mm. his, the dude's hand gets stuck, and he has to push the other guy off, and he blows up in the helicopter. Maybe I don't know. I don't remember. Whatever. Yeah. Moving on. Um, but yeah, uh, 100 percent want to go back to where gameplay is the thing, and we don't just don't see like just trailer, trailer, maybe release date, trailer, no release date, trailer. That somebody talks about the game. That's it. I, I do feel like we, and I've been like, wanting this, so I guess I am complaining about something I kind of wanted, but I did want like not as much secrecy in like the games industry because yeah. it seems like everything's so hush hush. They don't want to talk about this thing because marketing said it. It's not ready yet, so we shouldn't talk about it. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. So I did want a wider space, similar, not not as much as movies, but mm. similar to yeah. where like you'll hear about it a few years. But that does get the open chance where it might just get straight up canceled. Yeah. Because they do seem to announce games before they get straight up canceled. So you know you can have actually release it. I mean, remember Scalebound? <sighs> I do remember Scalebound. That's they showed point. gameplay and everything. Yep. Concept or whatever. I wonder how far they were into that game I don't before, know. before it Microsoft looks cool. Walk. Can you just imagine Microsoft Walking and be like, show me the demo? Shows on the demo? Nope. <laughs> yeah. They're like, Delete, I'm so curious. It all. I'm so curious why they why like, they cut that. Yeah, why? like you why see you the think? the the eject button, whatever, and it's like it's like to, to it escape takes, off. It takes it's it like, takes the a one point like I guess there's no copy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's you're just done. Like, <laughs> nope. It's like Gordon Ramsay or something. You're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> and throw the brakes and throws it. What do you? Oh god, I, I want like the scoop on like like what happened to that game? Cause, like very rarely do we get. Full I mean, it looked on, like, interesting, and I was so excited for like it, a triple A game from Platinum. Yeah, and it just poof, 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 poofed away. The world may never it know. Poofed. The world may never know. This super weird thing happened, by the way, and and I noticed this similar to when I noticed the whole Sony thing. Yeah, to yeah, a lesser yeah. degree, because I did watch. Did you watch the Morbius trailer? Yes, I did. What'd you think of it? Just. Bear I'm, your thoughts for the I, audience. I, I'm interested, cause, yeah, just because Me I mean, at first I was skeptical because I'm like, ah, Jared Little, we saw him as Joker. Now are we gonna see him as this vampire villain? Is Morbius a villain, right? Yes. Okay, we're kind of like Deadpool. He could be a villain or no, he, he's okay. more of a villain. villain. Okay, but so I'm like, but he, but he looks cool. So would at you least believe I'm, me if I said he's not a vampire? No, he's not a villain. Or sorry, I'm he's, not, he's a not, a not a vampire. Interesting. 
he's a synthetic vampire or something like that. So oh, okay, so he was in like yeah. And the yeah. reason you have to preface that because yeah. there are vampires in Marvel. No, yeah, he's yeah, not of a course. vampire. Yeah, no, he's like so weird. Yeah, yeah. So he like, got, why yeah. are you making the distinction? Um, but weird. but yeah, he he eats. Uh, he <laughs> I didn't know this was true, but I heard that he sucks people's blood through his hands. I don't know if that's real. Really? I think it is. Um, I feel like I gotta look that up. It, hey, look it up, and I'll talk. And I'll talk about All why right. we're talking about Morbius right, right go now. Go for it. We are talking about Morbius because if you watch the trailer, there was a super weird part where you see the um, a poster with Spider Man on it, and it says "Murderer." And I recommend watching the trailer just so you know <laughs> what this topic is about. Um, but it says "Murderer." It has the if you guys remember the Sam Raimi Spider Man suit as Spider Man with "Murderer" on it. There are straight up about three different cannons going on in this one screenshot. The reason is because, one, you have a different Spider-Man suit on from the original trilogy of Spider-Man movie we got in the 2000s. 2003, I think it was. three, something like that. Yeah, with Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Then it is Murderer from Spider-Man Far From Home. Spoilers, I guess, whatever. Then the screenshot is from the game. So you yeah, have it's weird because how can you tell it's from the game? It looks you can like you tell it's, from the shading and and things. Oh, Eagle-eyed okay, it, people know okay, more than I, I was gonna say. It literally looked like the exact just picture from the so movie. Originally, for me, like, I was okay. like, "Isn't that from the movie?" But yeah, if that's what you I do look at it and like zoom it out, it is pretty clearly. It's pretty clear the game. Yeah, because I can. I I saw straight up this, like shot before. Yeah. So people people knew it is it's from the game now. Is this just to mess with us, <laughs> or is this like real? Or because this is obviously planned. No one. There's no way this yeah. was made without knowing for sure you did this. Yeah. Because again, the Tobey Maguire guy doesn't exist, and this suit has never been seen in their like canon thing. Mm-hmm. So like this just makes it so complicated in so many different ways, and it's pretty hilarious. And I did like that the I think the producer tweeted out. I was like, I think I recognized that as a, as like a joke because he's like, I'm pretty sure that's my game. Um, of course, they, uh, they're not doing anything illegal. Um, yeah. It's perfectly legal for them to take a <clears throat> screenshot, but wild nonetheless. Alex, mm. as we wind down to show, we had an amazing. 50 odd minutes with the audience. Thank mm-hmm. you for listening again. All, as always, head over to patreon.com if you like to support us, if you like keeping us happy, and you want to make this our jobs because if you like this, we'll make more content for you. Um, while we're winding down, I'd like to ask you a question. Mm. What you gonna play? You like that? Yeah. New hey, segment, there you new go. Segment what, idea. You, yeah. what you gonna play for, for the... Because, you know, we usually... Um, you know, we record every week, yeah. of course, every Friday and every Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, if you do on mm. Patreon, um, what are you going to play in the week? What are you planning? Any plans? Hmm. Cause we have Kakarot Friday. Yes, we do. Are you excited for that? Yeah. I'm in the, I'm in the mood for something new. You are in that mood often, my friend. Yeah. I, I just, I, I am I, also in the mood for something new though. Yeah. I do. It is funny though. I do. I do need to be Sekiro. Yeah. Before Friday, because once I play something else, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the the knack I, I have. Yeah, yeah, that's how I've been with a lot of games. I mean, like I keep saying, I'm gonna go back to Horizon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've yet to do it uh, again. Um, we need someone out there. Yeah, pile them together um, and, and <laughs> tweet it at me, dude. I was close to. I was. I, I sat down, I turned the PlayStation on, I put Horizon in, and then I was like, "What do I got to do to get you to restart it? How far are you in this?" No. How far though? Uh, Five hours. I don't know. I'm not doing that. You're probably not far. You should probably restart it if you can't play. No, I remember <laughs> no, how to play it. No. I I, st- Do I, you? I played it a month ago for like ten minutes. Jesus Christ! Um, we're getting Horizon Two <laughs> soon. All right. Um, we love this game, me and my girlfriend. I put it in the system, and then I was that's like, one step. And what I I turned the PlayStation on. It's two steps. Yeah, I put it in. Did you pick the controller? Yes, I did. Three. Um, did you hit play? No. Okay. Well, because fell apart. I looked at my profile picture and I'm like, I've had that for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna change it because I because I got on originally to play Ladies the game and, and then we're I was in like, the mind of Alex right now. So Please keep like, going. Hear, hear, hear me out. You remember the whole Ghost of Tsushima theme? The, the thing you sent me. There's like you know Twitter was going around. It's like oh, get this, it gets it's a free theme. theme. Yeah, 
So yeah. did you mean theme or profile picture? So here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm skipping ahead. So I went. <laughs> so don't want to spoil the ending. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on the system and I was like, oh, I need to try the theme out, you know, and they give it a try. And so I put it on there. <laughs> I was sorry, like, I'm losing it. I was like, it looks cool. I'm like, but I'm going to go back to my Days Gone one. Wait, really? Days Gone? I, I just like the music. You're I not doing I, the Kingdom Hearts one. I had the Kingdom Hearts one for a while. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I did not see yeah. this coming. I thought, I've, had, know, my, I've, I've had, had the Days Gone one for a while just because I love the music. Um, I tweeted that to one the other day. I was having a conversation with, and, mm-hmm. and literally they, they said the the PS the Kingdom Hearts PS4 Pro theme is mm-hmm. the perfect theme. Yeah, and I tweeted them like, I change it and just always go right back. No, I no, yeah, I, I always go back on. to it too. I, I cannot have it. Yeah, on. I put it after the Days Gone one. I put it back on, um, but I was like, oh, I I changed my theme. I looked at the profile picture, and I started changing that because I had the the Superman busting out the chains. Nice. Uh, so I but I changed it because I was like, I wanted something new. So I have um, X Force Wolverine on it right now as my profile picture. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's you're very Wolverine, if I may ask. Yeah. Short, hairy. Mm-hmm. That's about all Wolverine is. <laughs> Wolverine is uh, one of my f- probably, if not the favorite, one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters. I think it might be the, my favorite, other than Spider Man. I about to say yeah. Who even gets close? Spider Man. Spider Man. Okay. Spider Man and Wolverine are my top two. Uh, and it's always hard to go back and forth because I mean I. My first super uh, superhero, like favorite superhero, was Spider Man. Before I watched Smallville and mm-hmm. got into Superman, yeah, into was Superman. it was uh, it was Spider Man, mm-hmm. and then I just and then I like Wolverine. It was so cool. Yeah, mine's Superman all the way, and then yeah. Marvel. I, and I need to sit down and I think. I think I know who you are. Make a document. What Gambit? That is the first choice. Gambit. Yes, yeah. Nightcrawler. Set close second. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You like? Do you, you do like that crawler? I, th- I was wondering what you were about to say. I thought you were <laughs> you like your men. <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> sure do. <laughs> oh my god. Um, um, um I'm I'm playing Kakarot, like I said, yeah. and then I'm gonna finish Shekaro hopefully tomorrow, if not the next day. Yeah, let because me know. again I think I'm on the last part. I'm gonna go fight a dragon, I think. I have no idea. This is very exciting. Yeah. Um I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to this game. Yeah, it's fine. So spoilers, because I he might know. Um whatever happened to the snake? Oh, does God. it come back? People need to kill this it. This isn't really back. a spoiler game, I feel, but yeah, you do kill it. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. You okay, because that thing so was that thing was terrifying. You don't fight it. Um. So, okay. Did you get to the? Okay, you I did, got to you the. Didn't, you didn't. The, the the last time I saw the snake was when I was like I had to hi- kind of like hide from it and going around that uh, like uh, that uh trench, and it was trying to find me and I was going through the bushes. That's it's, the last time I saw it. It's and funny because it, you I can think. you can yeah you can stab it in the eye and then that's how you get away. Yeah. It's funny how out of order you can play this game and I say out of order. There is no technical <clears throat> order. You can yeah. go and do anything you want. Um, but that's funny because that I didn't do that until I like completely finished like three areas. Oh wow. Then really? I found the serpent. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you you do you uh, kill the serpent um, because he finds you through uh, two times. Okay. One time you do the eye thing. Yeah. Second time he's like looking at you for, from a tunnel and you have to yeah. like hide from him and get out of the way and yeah. then you trick him out and run away. Okay. Third time he f- fell into this like a ravine thing okay. and he's still down there and you come back later from all the way on the top uh-huh. and you literally jump and do a death blow. Oh really? And it is the coolest thing Weird. because you fall on his head, mm. you stab it, he like freaks out and then you just like like run the the sword all the way down like a miss it was, it was crazy and, he, and then you fall into the water and he like like, d- like end game dusts away yeah it was so cool Damn. and then you get his heart as a it's a okay. thing for the ending yeah and i just an, yeah. and then you won't believe me mm. another serpent in the game there's another one there's another one so, same type or like um it looks it's the same it's like all white it does look okay. a little smaller so i feel like it, it might be a female I don't know. Mm. You don't kill this one though. You have to like hide from it. <laughs> it's pissed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. It's gonna get weird. So you like have to like. There's oh, a jutsu you learn oh, no. that when you assassinate something, you can turn him into like a puppet. Oh god! And you make a monkey. You turn him into like your your puppet thing. The monkey will run up and then get the like little snake thing's attention. attention the yeah. snake will eat him, and then you have to run into this building and take this dried heart of a serpent. Weird. Dude, this game's wild. <laughs> huh. I fought a monkey. Yeah. A really big monkey. An like, ape, technically. Like King Kong? King Kong, if King Kong, like... Um, was, like... 
reasonable okay. size that uh, you can find. Rampage. Remember the movie with Dwayne Rock Johnson? Not that big, but like basically as big as his normal body was. Okay. Times that by probably two. Okay. And then that's how big he was. He was he was he was definitely like ten feet tall, probably. Huh. Um. Eh, not ten feet. Eight feet. Yeah, eight feet tall. Probably. Okay. He was huge, and he and he had a sword in his neck. Okay. And when you, because you know you have two health bars, he had one yeah. really long one. Yeah. You kill him. This mm. boss was hard as hell. Yeah. You kill him. He has a sword in his neck. Somehow he's still alive. I have no idea. How. Jesus. Okay. You grab the sword. Mm. Take his head off. Right. He falls to the ground. Okay. Dead. Leave the sword there. Walk away. This thing, Alex, gets back up, mm. grabs his head and the sword, and then you have to fight him again. <laughs> so you are now fighting a headless ape holding his head in his hand with a sword in the other one. I feel like it reminds me of, um, it's an old movie. Have you ever seen the movie Ninja Assassin? Yes. I do. There's like that big brute guy, mm-hmm. and he gets a bunch of ninja stars in his neck, and he's just like, pulls them out, and he's like, is that all you got? Dude. Yeah, I'm like that was a cool movie. I was like, you just got like stars in your neck, and you and you're <laughs> gushing you blood. Quit. You're like, nah. you're like, how? How are you alive? This ain't worth it. Yeah. Uh, but then you kill you you kill him right mm-hmm. by by taking this weird centipede bug out. Okay. And stabbing it. So there was this weird giant centipede in his body, mm-hmm. and then you leave him. Okay. Cut back to later in the game. Yep. You go into a cave. There's this guy hurt. He goes. Uh, out, like he talks to you, he's dying. He goes, and then you ask him, like, "What did this to you?" And he's like, um, uh, "An ape." And you're like, "What? An yeah. ape?" Yeah. Go into the the cave. Yeah. Same ape. Huh. So I've now killed this thing twice, and he's not dead. Oh wow! Remember, there's immortality in this yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The immortality is the bug. Oh. The only way you can kill it is the mortal blade. You get the mortal blade as like a basically like a power up thing you can use. Yeah. So when you kill him this time, which again. You kill him mm-hmm. one time. He has two health bars. You kill him once. When you get him on his last health bar, his daughter comes. Oh you have God. to now fight two monkeys at this point, Alex. Interesting. All right. You kill the other monkey. Then you kill this monkey. He, you take out the bug. You stab it again. The thing is still twitching. Mm. Now you take your mortal blade out. You stab the bug. Thing fully dies. Sounds, like, sounds, sounds like fun. This game is wild. This is... yeah. I don't know if we've reached peak Dark Souls wild, but mm-hmm. this game's pretty nuts. Yeah. Um, because, like, again, you're immortal, and then there's bugs in you. You, ha- I had a friend that asked me to kill him. He had a bug in him, too. Huh. Dude. This game has scarred me. It scarred you. For especially life. with these giant bugs. It's pretty gross. Yeah. And then there's Has these- it been a giant spider? No, surprisingly. Every Dark Souls game, every, game, Souls every Bloodborne. Some, some weird thing. Yeah. Did you all- play Bloodborne? Yes, but I never finished it. Okay. How far did you get in it? Oh, my God. I got probably straight up an hour, maybe. Oh, God, no. I played way more than that. How much? Um, it's a, I, I, I've put at least six to ten. Okay, so in in okay amount. Yeah. What yeah. did you think? Did, did, no, did you I, just I, not I like it. it. I mean, it's, it, it's Dark Soulsy. I mean, but I just... Um, I stop. I just stopped playing it because I, I was actually gonna continue playing it because because I got I literally you know it's kind of you get to that part to where you you know you you kind of pass like you remember in Dark Souls there's like a big area and then you finally get past that big area to the next so it's like yeah, yeah. so like yeah you uh, I forgot I forgot um I remember in three there's a that place the Arno Londo place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but before that, there was or okay. Let's actually go back to number uh, Dark Souls one, the very beginning area, and once you know, once you're done, uh, the bird takes you to the new place. Yeah. Or after that, you know, you open. That was, you didn't, doesn't the bird take you back to the very beginning area, of the prison? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know, dude. I'm I just talking. remember it takes <laughs> you to a new place, or I forget which one, and you open the door, and there's like a mm-hmm. big cliff. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it's like that. And so I was about to go into a new area, and then I just stopped because I think something else came out. Yeah, I get it. I did want to, in Perfect World, when I beat Sekiro, go to Bloodborne and see yeah. if I can get into that. I would have to restart the game because I'm like literally at the very beginning of the game probably. Yeah. Um, And I died at like the very first guy. So I was like, nah, nah mm. not right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, But uh, I might try and play that again. Mm. Um, Excited for Kakarot, though. I am scared this game isn't going to be great. 
I, I'm yeah. hoping we get a good Dragon Ball Z game. It's been a while since we've gotten like a cool story based Dragon Ball Z game. It's all been Xenoverse was fun. I liked Xenoverse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm hoping they make another Xenoverse. What do you think? Uh, I never, I never finished too. You should. It was fun. Yeah. The ending is really cool because it op- it keeps it open. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, oh, this person did this. What would you do? And I was like, Psh, I'd, I'd, we'd have to beat him up because like that's the rule, bro. Yeah, that's you the rule. Up. Trunks, you can't be changing, can't be changing the the future, man. It's breaking the rules, dog. I gotta kill you now. Uh, oh, anyway, yeah. anyways, um, thank you guys so much for listening. What are you excited for? Are you excited for Kakarot? Are you upset about this uh, delays? What do you think about all the delays? Uh. What do you think about the show? Leave your questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, and ideas in the comments below. Tweet at us at EVM9000 at CrazyPhilipsCare. Any, again, questions, comments, or concerns, um, head over to Patreon.com if you want to talk to us directly as a full line of communication with either either a dollar or five dollars, depending on whatever you want to pledge. Thank you guys so much for watching. 